Hello everybody, Jim here in the brand new-ish to me Mustang Alpha Vindicator. Oh, it's glorious. And it's just a Mustang Alpha. That's all it is. Uh, you might notice that I've got a couple of extra guns on the wings, but that's because I ripped them off of my Mustang Omega. And I believe if the stock loadout of a ship does not include guns on every conceivable hardpoint, then it's a terrible loadout. More guns. Better. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, so here we are in the Mustang Alpha Vindicator. Before we talk about that, I want to have a look at a few things that I sort of missed last time. The first thing isn't really something I missed. I knew it was there, I just didn't show it to you, and it is the fact that the wings do fold up. And it looks pretty darn cool. I really like that. Gonna be great for parking in tight spaces. Yeah, I like that. So, that's neat. And you get this nice flappy bird animation so you can make your ship flap its wings. The next thing that I didn't even know about until I learned from Buzzkiller09 is this here. Have a look at this glorious feature. Oh, eject. Oh, the Mustang Delta, the, the fighter without an eject feature. It was terrible. It was a, a paper-thin fighter, and you were trapped inside. You had to, like, run behind you to uh, climb out that belly hatch. You were never going to make it. <laughs> You're just a goner. Uh, but that's cool. The next feature that I did not know about even a little bit, and I learned from Buzzkiller, is this right here. Thank you, Buzz, for this. This is glorious. And I gotta tell you, it's a it's a really exciting feature. Mm. And it's hard to miss. Let's open the exterior. Oh, baby! Does my ship get excited about cargo? Because <laughs> uh, I, bet, I bet you can carry a lot of postage in that because this is a, it's a mail plane. What is that? It's a plane! What's it doing here? I think it's a mail plane. How can you tell? Well, didn't you notice its little balls? <laughs> That's uh, the cargo feature that extends from the butt end here. Um, it carries, it looks to me like four boxes, so four SCU. The, the website says six. Anybody who's played with this ship or any Mustang Alpha in the game, please let me know if you can put four or six in there. And those of you who want to know, please check the comments. Somebody will tell us, and I'll try to pin it to the top. But, yeah, there's usually someone who will help us out with that. But it's a neat feature. You've got that mini store-all box, and they've really used the inside space of the ship very well. It looks really good. I like it a lot. So, what about the Mustang Alpha Vindicator itself? The only real distance, uh, dif distance. The only real difference is the looks. And we'll start here with Citizenship Must Be Earned decal. That looks good. We've got the Citizen Con 2948 emblazoned across a single engine. That looks good. Down here... We've got another citizenship must be earned decal for a sort of uh, asymmetric paint job. That looks awesome. And down here, we have another Star Citizen logo, which looks pretty sweet. Uh, besides that, we've got this yellowy-orange uh, highlight. We've got the black, dark gray accents. We've got the almost skull white. Overall, for just a paint job, I think this one looks really good. And if you're looking for a neat paint job on your Mustang, you could do worse than this. That being said, you probably will be able to paint ships in the game, so is this such a big deal? I don't know about that. Here we are in round two of the Vandal Swarm. <laughs> and while this is not one-shotting these Auroras, like something like a Saber, two shots with two size two and two size one weapons is not too shabby. Uh, we're about to go on to the... Uh, round three here, there should be a Cutlass that we're going to fight, and that'll be the real challenge. If we can take the Cutlass out without too much trouble, that should prove that this Mustang Alpha is not too bad. Hey, let's fix that landing landing gear glitch. There we go. Uh, anyway, yeah, if we can take out that Cutlass without too much trouble, we'll be in pretty good shape fighting was. Ah, here it is! Oh, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I had so much to talk about and I'm going to die. <laughs> let's see what we can do here. This could take a little while. Or it could be quick, I don't know. I haven't I haven't fought it with one of these yet. Ooh, taking some hits. I know the Mustang Delta with the rockets can take this out fairly quick. Something like a uh, Super Hornet or a Saber can do this in almost no time flat. Whoa! But I find the weaker ship here, I'm having to dodge a lot more because it's going to get through the shields. I don't have repeaters, which would be handy on a bigger ship. I have these auto cannons. Hmm. 
which are better for sniping the small ships. But we're doing some damage. I don't have rockets to do the extra damage on larger ships. While we're on the topic, let's talk about the Delta. I had some bad things to say about the Delta in the last video, and a lot of them have changed, or I've realized that things are different now. The texture is still bad. I still don't like the texture. But the rockets are not as bad as I remember. Uh, between the, the changes that I mentioned in the last video, which include, you know, the changes to the other guns to make the rockets more useful. Yeah, not too bad. And a little alpha still going strong. Uh, and, and the changes in the, uh, the velocities of the weapons, they've also at some point upped the damage since the last time I tested them. I noticed that as I rewatched the last video, that three rockets, I'm sorry, three volleys of rockets, that would be six rockets total. Mm, come on, baby. <laughs> Six rockets total was enough to take out an Aurora. That's way better than it used to be. And there we go. Target down. <laughs> so the rocket damage is up at least a little bit to the point of usefulness. And on a larger ship, like a Cutlass or a Constellation, you can really use those to great effect because both pips from the lasers and the rockets will be on the larger ship simultaneously. So you can unleash everything. Uh, what little bit there is on a Delta. Other things to note, the Delta engine popping off issue, where the engine would pop off at the first sign of trouble, that's fixed. So it's much more flyable now, much more enjoyable. And say what you will about the Mustangs, um, especially the Delta, for a starter variant. Ooh, look at those damage states. For a starter variant, the Delta actually has a lot of firepower. So... It's doing pretty well. You could do worse than a, than a Mustang Delta for your fighter. Unfortunately, as it says right in the description, it cannot go toe-to-toe -to -toe with things like this Hornet here. This Hornet here, fully stocked, will eat the Delta alive, and that's sort of as it should be. Now, sure, you can tell me, well, all things being equal, the pilot, the pilot's better. That's true. That's absolutely true. I've blown up lots of Super Hornets in my Delta, even when it was super crappy. Uh, but... I mean, all things being equal, including equal pirates, uh, pirates, equal pilots, uh, yeah, the the fully stocked uh, Hornet will win over the fully stocked Delta every time. So, yeah, but for a starter ship, not bad. You can definitely do some contact, contact, can't talk, combat missions with that Delta. Now, on to the next point of this video, which is to address some of the things that people had to say about me disliking the new Mustangs. That's... Well, it's, frankly, it's a load of crap. I had some criticisms about the new Mustangs. That doesn't mean that I didn't like them. And I actually said quite a few nice things about it. So yeah, clearly I had some nice things to say. And I, I really do like the ship. A lot of people think I don't understand why they made the changes that they made. Well, I completely understand. Uh, as far as the Mustangs go, I I know a lot about the Mustangs. I've used them a lot. I've paid really close attention to them throughout development. I got my first ship was a Mustang Omega. I've had a Mustang of some sort since the first day they came out, and I really, really, really liked them. I liked the looks. I liked the function. I liked the purpose, and I like the new ones too. I know what they changed. They changed the belly hatch because it never worked. I've played for hundreds, literally hundreds of hours with these ships. Belly hatch never worked well. Uh, the inside of the beta, I was constantly popping through the top. That never worked. The landing gear on the wings, I have landed many, many dozens of times and broken those wings off and not been able to take off again. I know they needed to be fixed. I am well aware of all of these things. And yet, I'm still going to miss the old model. So functionally, I love this new one. I think it's fantastic. It's been some great changes. Stylistically, I disagree with it on a fundamental level. Why, you might ask, is that? Is it because they recycled some textures from the Avenger, even though we're supposed to have unique visuals uh, among ship manufacturers and across certain brands? They still recycled a texture. Is that an issue? Um, a little. Is it because they botched a tiny little spot <laughs> next to the entryway on the Mustang Delta? Uh, they botched that texture? No, that'll probably get fixed before too long. 
Is it because the Mustang Beta interior is industrial? Not just because. For those of you who like the industrial look of the, uh, of the Mustang Beta, good for you. I'm glad you got something that you like. The reason I don't like it isn't just because it's industrial. It's because we have lore in Star Citizen that used to be important. It used to be a huge aspect, and I often bring up hyper-pillow technology, uh, things like that. You get these crazy words and these crazy little details that make Star Citizen something special, more than just stats. And I love those. And the Mustang Beta was the embodiment of those weird little details. And we got rid of it. Now, is that good or bad? It's good because in getting rid of them, we've conformed to the style of Consolidated Outland's larger ship and reduced system resources required to run the game by merging assets. That's good. See, I understand this stuff. I get it. It's good because people like the industrial clean look. It's bad if you like the lore of the game and you don't want that to die. And I think that's bad. Is it bad for you if you don't care about lore? No, it's good for you, and I'm happy for you. But it's bad for me, and I reserve the right to say that I don't like things. <laughs> Even if you don't agree with me. Uh, just like I give you the right to call me an F-head in my comments and say all kinds of terrible things about me and my progeny. Does that mean that I'm ever going to agree with you? No, not a chance. Uh, I believe I'm right. <laughs> so, yeah, that's why I dislike them on a fundamental level. Uh, I don't like that we're doing away, especially with the interior of the beta, we're, we're doing away with the lore that says Consolidated Outland is run by an eccentric billionaire like Elon Musk, who, by the way, does not make Tesla, Tesla 2.0, Tesla 3.0, he makes Tesla, he makes The Boring Company, he does SpaceX, he makes Not a Flamethrower, he does all kinds of crazy crap. Now, I'm not a huge fan of Elon Musk personally, I mean, that's not what this is about. It's about the guy being crazy pants insane and making weird crap, and I do like that. And Silas Corner, in the lore, founder of Consolidated Outland, that's the kind of guy that he is, and I really like that. And they're kind of destroying it. So... No, I don't like that they're they're ruining the lore by making the little ship look just like the big ship. It's not supposed to be like that. Even Ben Lesnick, my, my favorite bearded CIG employee, told us that if uh, Silas Carner were to make another series of ships, it wouldn't be Mustang 2.0, it would be something completely different. And they're making them the same, which goes against lore, and I don't like that. Now... Why do I feel nostalgic? Why am I sad that the old, old ones are going away, even if I think that the new models look fantastic? Why am I sad the old one is going away? That's a little more complicated. I'm sad that the old one is going away because I don't think we'll ever get to see them again. People say we could have legacy designs, right? Well, don't hold your breath. I don't think that's a thing that's going to happen. We're not going to get legacy designs because, as I said earlier, the models had to change so we could lower the polygon count so we can run the game on our computers uh, at, the, at the size and scale that the CIG wants. They have to go away. We can't have those old models in the game, which means when 3.3 goes live, they're gone forever. They're not gone like Firefly is gone where I can watch it on Netflix, Hulu, and DVD and still experience everything that used to be. They're gone like your childhood home is gone after a house fire. They're gone permanently, and you cannot go back and see them ever again. And mind you, these ships, it's not just that I love them because they remind me of the ships from the 80s and 90s that I grew up with as a kid. I, I love them because they're obvious works of art that people poured time and attention and love into to make something really amazing. And they did it. They made gorgeous works of art. And with the stroke of an update, they're going to be deleted from reality. And we'll never see them again except in crappy, compressed YouTube videos and any two-dimensional pictures I was able to take. So, yeah, I'm going to miss them. And if you can't understand that, if, if, if that's beyond you, then there's not much I can do to help you and explain it to you except to say that I love the work of art for what it is and it will soon be dead <laughs> and gone forever. No respawn in six seconds. Uh, no, no, it'll never be back. So, yeah, that's why I'm sad that they're gone. It's a work of art that's going to be completely and utterly eradicated. Unless maybe we can convince CIG to give us legacy builds to play with in mods down the road? Please? <laughs> Please?
please, CIG? Can, can we do that? That would be phenomenal. Thank you very much. Yeah, my alarm went off, so I have to reshoot the ending. Uh, if you guys have any comments, any questions, please put them down there. I'm happy to answer any questions you have, any requests that you might have. And uh, thank you all very much for watching. I will see you sooner or later.